So as we look at some ways that Screencastify could fit into the everyday lives of teachers, another one that, that totally comes to mind is professional development. Um, now, that doesn't mean that you have to give professional development to teachers in a formal setting, but the fact that we as educators learn things that work for us and are able to share those with other people can be really, really powerful. And we don't have to be a professional development specialist by title to be able to help other people out. And so if something is working for you in the classroom and you'd be willing to tell other people about it, create a quick screencast video that shows how it works, whether that's working with a tool that you've just learned about or an idea that you can articulate with some slides or, you know, a tutorial or whatever. And so, you know, in this instance, what I'm showing you now is a um, sort of like a self-paced uh, presentation uh, way of learning about how to use Google in non-traditional ways. And so I could put these slides up on the screen, start a screencast, and I could walk teachers through some of the non-traditional ways that I like to use some of the Google tools. Now, if you're able to share that either by email you know, you grab that Google Drive link and you share it either by email with specific colleagues or, you know, through a, a portal or a learning management system for your whole staff, even out on social media. We can take what's in our own brains and then be able to make it available to other people. And if you think that what you're doing isn't so different from what everybody else is doing, you have your own perspective and you have your own experiences and people really appreciate that. So if you've got something that works for you in the classroom, I would encourage you to consider maybe making a screencast video about it and sharing it.